Welcome back to TechPress, guys. Today, I'm going to show you how to get started uh, creating an actual free website using Webly. Webly is powered by Squelp, an amazing place where we can start creating websites truly for beginners. So to get started, I'm going to leave you a link down below in the description. So, of course, we can all get started truly for free. With the link down below provided, what you want to do is to fill all your information about yourself. Once you have access to the dashboard of the Squelp space, now we can start to use the actual Webly. I actually use a square account to sign into Webly to make this much more faster. So now that you have caused filling your information to create a free account, you will be prompted to choose a theme for your website and you can start your for free. Now, what you can do cost is to choose a free plan or a plus plan if you wanted to get started. And now in my case, what I'm going to be doing here is just to focus with checking out all the plans and focus with a free plan. Now we have a free plan, we have basic site, but you have limited elements so you want to take that in mind. But you have a free trial version of 15 days if you want to start with a new website. So I'm going to start with adding a new site so we can see how the store is going to be created. Now, what is the name of your new site? In my case, I'm going to go for Cool Cats, for example, and go for Continue. So these are just a prompts of how we can get starting and creating our actual new site. So you can choose to create an e-commerce store, an online store, a uh, clothing store branding, or a portfolio, whatever. So choose the best that focused on your new site, and you might be having now directly access to the dashboard. If you have used Wix, for example, this is uh, look like a little bit like Wix, so you can see all the dashboard, start customizing the overview and all of that. So in my case, I'm going to focus into the preview of my site. So first of all, what I need to do is to customize my site in order to get started. So I'm going to click here so I can select an actual template so I can customize my site. So usually here what we can do is to choose the element that says uh, all the themes and choose which is the one which you like to add directly into your site. So let's say, for example, this is a multi-page website and you want to have customization of the services. Uh, this is this pass alone, customer color, there are other things that we can use them, but these are only available for the free side. So make sure that you're using your free side for that. I'm gonna go for all the themes. And here usually into the upper side would have the accessibility to elements of the upgrade version. So just focus into the ones that are totally for free. So for example, you have the customized color and settings. And of course choose this element and go for select the theme. Now in my case, I can remix this with my site style. So I can change this for this element. I can choose this, I can choose this, whatever. So choose the one that best suits for yourself in order to continue. So I can go for this. I scroll a little bit down and then I can go for select this theme. Automatically, this theme should be created for me with the style that I just created or generated. Into the lip hot, we have the elements where we can just design our site. I'm going to change this from desktop so I can check it out how it's actually going to be looking. So as you can see, we have the main banner, the feature items, location and hours, footer, footer brand, and much more sections. If you want to delete something that you don't want to see, for example, the location and hours, just go here and go for delete. I'm going to add a new section and here you can add Instagram feeds, donation, featured categories, organization, text and images, and much more elements. You can even add a beam codes, but this is just for upgraded. Now into my forms, let's say for example, that I wanted to create an actual blog, right? So if I wanted to create a blog, usually we have the different elements. For example, we have the standard pages, we have the category pages, and item pages, story pages, and much more. So if I want to create an actual blog, I'm going to focus into add a page. So what I can do is to add show more elements, and I can add a story, for example. I can add it, and there we go. Now inside here, I have the story head. So I have the title of it. I have the date. Go for OK. Uh, this template has, of course, the customization that I can go for the title, the title number two. I can delete, let's go, for example, about us. Now here, I can, of course, customize my image. I can create or replace an image that I can see in here. So I'm going to add an image. I can go for, please, here, my file. I select my file. I open it. I wait till my image has now been uploaded. And then I can hit now into done so I can add it directly into my blogging section. So once you have added all of these elements, what you can do is to start by uh, adding description information about your product. Uh, the, so I'm going to select it, of course. I'm going to go back. 
As you can see, I have more information about myself. For example, our title, the story title. This is just a navigation bar. You can customize this if you wanted to. Uh, you can add social icons. You can connect your own links into the pod. And you can start by customizing our payment method, checking out the copyright, the subscription elements, the folder of the branding, check the section style, and edit much more elements. For example, the header, adding uh, elements, and so much more. After that, you can go directly into previous. You can see how you're actually going to be looking at your website once you've finished checking out your website. And go and check it out how it's going to be looking into a phone. So you can go and publish it when you think you're actually ready to go. And now, lastly, what you can do is to configure some CEO settings. You can optimize your site for search engine by configuring the CEO settings. So if I focus here directly into settings, so you can see that we have tracking toast, language and units. The have a helping us to make our website look much more great. And lastly, how the publishing of my site. Once you're happy with your actual element, what you can do is to go into the upper side. Let's go directly into my website, into the lip pod. Here into my welcome back, here into my side, I can go into edit side. And once you are directly into the editor, what you can do is of course to publish your site into the upper side that says published. And you might be having access to a free domain by the actual square. So for example, you go for text that square that side. If you're okay with it, go for continue, then you're actually good to go. You can of course create a domain you already own, but this is totally depending on what's the actual plan you're currently having, guys. And there you have it how you can just learn how to create a free website using Weblink to 2024. So guys, before we find this tutorial helpful from our practical tip tutorial, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell, guys. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Hopefully, we can all see you into a brand new section of TechQuest. See you soon.